So today, I'm talking to you about three passive incomes that you can earn from Africa, even if you're not from Africa, all right? So the first passive way to make money in Africa is through the transportation method. So I'm gonna give you a prime example of one of my friends who actually earns passive income uh, within the transportation sector. You get what I'm saying? And once you kind of understand how this model works, I'm telling you, you can create significant wealth um, through this means. So here's what she does basically. She imports cars into Nigeria specifically. This is where her business is located. And I'm gonna talk about another African country. And what she does is that she gets cars from Africa, uh, specifically Toyota Camrys, uh, ranging from 2002 to 2004. Nothing expensive, nothing fancy, um, and the cost usually ranges from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. So you can see that's pretty cost effective. She then imports the cars from the United States, all right, into Nigeria. The, input, the, the, the cost of transportation from the United States to Nigeria is roughly $850, all right? By the time she clears it from the port, you're looking at additional maybe $600. So in total, her investment per vehicle is less than $3,500, okay? So I want you to stick with me here. So she basically spends $3,500 to import a Toyota Camry, okay? Now, with that, what she now does is that she uses her vehicle using an Uber transportation model where she, she finds someone who will actually drive the vehicles and pay her on a monthly basis. See, the power of passive income is that you do something one time and that's it. She doesn't have to be the one driving the vehicle. So here's the deal. Not only is she earning passive income, she's also creating um, a source of income for someone who's willing to do the work. So here's an example of the kind of money she's earning on a monthly basis. When she gives the car to the driver, all right, the, tri the driver comes back every single month paying her roughly $400 per vehicle, all right? So whether or not he makes any money for himself, that's his business. The deal is every single month he brings back $400. Now here's the key. So some people are thinking, well, is it safe? You know, is he going to steal my car? Well, not really, because there's some technology <laughs> technologies in place to help you secure your investment. All right. So when she imp when the driver goes with this vehicle, number one, she has her own personal uh, vehicle tracker on the vehicle. So which means that the moment the, the 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 driver goes outside within a certain perimeter, she knows right from her phone. All right, and she can actually shut off the car directly from a mobile device. That's the power of technology. So that's something aside. So the driver basically signs a deal that every month he's gonna bring back $400 and he basically earns anything after that. So in a nutshell, the deal is, a, is for a two year contract, which means that for the, for the next two years, the driver is committed to bringing back $400 every single month. That's power, folks. I don't think you understand that. She's not doing anything, but she's earning passive income every single month. Now, she not only has one vehicle, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, she has seven different uh, Camrys running the same business model. So think about it. $400 times seven, that's $2,800 every single month because she understands the power of passive income. The second way to earn passive income in Africa is within the real estate sector. Now, real estate is one of the most lucrative, uh, lucrative opportunities in Africa. I'll give you an example. I was chatting with a, a buddy of mine a few days ago. His wife is from Ghana. Well, his wife's parents are from Ghana and he's purely African-American. But the, he did, as a family, the wife and the husband decided to move back home to Ghana. And initially they started supplying, you know, a little solar system to kind of help, you know, light up Africa, that type of move. But then what they're going into now is they're, they're basically, they purchased a, a, a land, a plot of land. All right. And they're building their own house. So they're not building it just to say, hey, we have, we have a house in Africa or in Ghana and, you know, we're living a good life. No, sir. They are building their own home so that they can use it 
as a means of uh, of, of renting out to tourists that come into Ghana. Folks, the kind of tourists that are trooping into Ghana right now is amazing. Amazing. All right. So a lot of opportunities in Ghana. Shout out to all my people from Ghana. So if you're looking to do something in Ghana, real estate is definitely a hot piece. All right. So going back to the story, they're converting their home into an Airbnb type of business model, right? Where they're just renting rooms to people you know what I mean? To live or to stay for a certain, for a short period of time. And finally, number three, uno, dos, tres. Number three is through the agriculture sector. See, there's an entire value chain in agriculture that people can tap into to create passive income. Now, one of those ways is number one, the easiest way, by the way, is find companies that are already doing big and great things in the agriculture sector and partner with them, either by investing in their project, you know, on a, on a project basis, or just leaving your money with the company to let it continue to work for you. I give you a prime example. One of the companies um, that I know so well is um, Farm Crowdy, all right? Farm Crowdy is based in Nigeria, similar to our own business model in Agro Angels. They are expert when it comes to identifying agriculture um, farm projects that ordinary people can invest in. And when I say invest in, I'm talking about anywhere from $300 to upwards of, you know, four or $5,000. The beautiful thing is that you can monitor your entire project directly from your mobile device. That is phenomenal, folks. You can monitor the entire project from your mobile device and once, so you know exactly what's going on from phase to phase. So let's say a project takes a duration of six months, all right? From the moment you start that project, you will be receiving consistent update as to how you, uh, how your project is doing. And at the end of that project, not only do you get your uh, initial capital back, you also get your investment, uh, your return on investment back. Now, Talking about return on investment in Africa, Africa has one of the most highest ROI in investments, period, around the world. Now, the reason is because, once again, it's a developing continent. It's not fully developed yet. So anytime something is developing, there are massive opportunities to create wealth. Now, that's on, a, that's on one spectrum. On the other spectrum, as you have high return, that also comes with high risk. So I kind of teach and coach people on how to mitigate the risk, how to identify opportunities that to, to minimize your risk while optimizing your return on investment. Thank you so much, guys, for hopping on. I hope you've been able to gain something from uh, the three passive incomes that you can earn in Africa, even if you're not from Africa. And as usual, I look forward to catching you guys on my next video. Uh, bringing you value on how to earn and expand your business in any part of Africa. All right. Until next time, I catch you in my next video. It's your boy Deepo Adesina. Peace.